the Geek Vape Obelisk Kit. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Geek Vape Obelisk Kit from Geek Vape. This is it. This is the mod and tank. Uh, there are two kits available with two different tanks. This kit you're looking at right now is the uh, Obelisk Tank Kit. Very solid little sub ohm tank. Uh, very nice indeed, no major issues there. The other kit will have this on it, the Geek Vape Z, it's their flagship uh, sub ohm tank. It's, uh, it's a bit beefier, it's a bit bigger and very, very good as well. Um, but this is uh, this is the Obelisk tank. Uh, they, they follow a similar uh, pattern, to be honest. Uh, if we just pop this open, you've got pull up and push along top fill bubble glass here 3.5 mil capacity adjustable airflow along the bottom and obviously you just unscrew the tank to uh, get access to the coil these are the coils here standard affair mesh thing uh, 0.4 ohms rated for like 60 watts very very good coils indeed lasting a long time great flavor and clouds uh, so those are the coils now if we get onto the mod, this is the mod, fire button, screen, minus, plus, spring loaded 510, you can get quite big at ease on here, about 26mm at ease maximum without overhang, uh, spring loaded 510 as we've said, and you'll notice that there is no battery door, it's a built in battery device. Uh, 3750 Ma, I believe. I think what's actually inside is uh, dual 18500s, I believe. Well, my camera goes nuts. Um, yes, so I believe that's what's inside. Most significant thing here USB Type C, obviously, you're going to need that to charge it. And speaking of charging it, it also comes with this a PD USB plug. You put your other end of your uh, Type-C cable in here. That goes in your wall, obviously. Um, sorry, this is very, very wide, isn't it? Um, yeah, but essentially this is the charge plug for this mod, which gives you USB PD, um, which is even faster than uh, normal two amp charging. Um, this mod, as you can see from the title, th this mod can charge in 15 minutes. Um, using this plug, so I'll just plug it in, and you can see it's got this uh, fancy graphic for charging, and it literally just charges really, really fast. Um, you can use your mobile phone charger or Type C or whatever, um, and it, it it still works. It still works absolutely fine. You can use this plug to charge it extremely fast. Um, Unbelievable, really, how fast this thing charges, and that's its kind of USP, if you like. So yes, so that's that's that. It's an incredibly fast charging device. This is uh, your uh, screen. You've got your power mode that we're in now, which is wattage mode, 50 watts, ohms, amps, all that good stuff on here as well. Uh, very very simple to navigate. You've got plus or minus to lock it. You can still fire it when it's locked, plus or minus to unlock it. You can adjust the brightness with fire and plus and turn it down with fire and minus. I'm only at 80%, it's so a very good screen indeed, very bright, very easy to see. Um, and it's got the other mode, so one, two, three, and you get into the menu if you like, and you've got TC. Uh, VPC, variable power curve, you got bypass, you got OTG. What is OTG? OTG is, if I can get this right on camera, OTG is the ability to use this as a charging thing. So if we get another mod with USB Type C, two, three, turn it into OTG.
there you go can you see the red light I'm now charging this mod with this mod uh, which is a feature we don't see in many mods uh, but uh, it's got a big old battery pack in here so uh, a nice little bonus feature for this device so essentially that is a mod it's a bit of a fingerprint fingerprint magnet um, but uh, a very nice solid shape in terms of size if we compare it to the drag which is a dual 8650 very comparable in size it's a tiny bit shorter but a tiny bit fatter as well uh, so yeah if you're wondering how big it is it's sort of the same size as a traditional 18650 we'll slide the tank back on oh slide the tank back on so you can have one more look but there we go the obelisk kit from geek vape with super fast charging let's go up top okay guys that was the obelisk down low from geek vape really interesting kit really interesting mod uh, a new thing we like innovation on this channel we like new stuff uh, this has something very new on it as i showed you down low it comes with this big power adapter and uh, this big plug if you like and basically what that and this can do combined is usb c pd charging uh, power delivery pd stands for you might have heard of qc charging before quick charge that's actually proprietary to a, a specific company but this is the more universal protocol of that um, it's basically really really fast charging if you have the right plug the right cable and the right device then you will be able to charge super super fast um, which is really really cool um, you might notice your smartphone if you've got a, a modern samsung or a modern iphone you might notice that sometimes it says fast charging sometimes it just says charging and sometimes it says super fast charging and uh, it's basically that those are basically the levels this when it's charging with that plug it's super fast charging uh, so it's charging the, the whole mod seems to charge up in like 15 minutes uh, which is absolutely brilliant it's worth bearing in mind as well you don't need to have that plug with you all the time you can put any usb type c charger in here it still will charge if you use say your smartphone's charger uh, it will charge really fast like a smartphone it charges at its fastest with that plug but you can use others and as you saw you can use this mod as a power bank as well you saw me charging that little pod off the back of this mod as well so it can do that so really really cool uh really really cool to see a built-in battery device with even faster charging i think that is, is a nice touch it's a really cool usp i expect to see more devices with this in the future um i don't think it's a massive game changer i'm not gonna i'm not here to sell you this device i'm just here to independently review it i don't think it's a game changer but what it is is a really nice additional feature the fact that if i notice this is getting low literally in the time till i will next need a vape i can charge it to full i can go 15 minutes without a vape i can charge this back to full in the time that i will need another vape that is a very very nice feature and there's no getting around that uh so yes very very cool in terms of the rest of the, the device there is things to know uh two tank kits are available with this mod so you can get it with the obelisk tank but you can get it with the geek vape z tank as well that's their bigger cloudier premier tank uh it's a very very good tank the obelisk tank's working great for me as well so um pay attention to which kit you might want depending on which tank you might want i think they're both great but if you really want that big clouds uh then check out the kit with the z tank um so there is that uh it's going to be pretty affordable uh, it's going to be in that affordable price range for a variable wattage device um, it's not going to be super expensive off the back of the fact that it's got this extra tech so that's a really good thing as well um, size wise it's very similar to a dual 18650 i think what's inside is dual 18500 but it's built in it's all glued in so don't be getting any funny ideas about taking this apart uh, it is very much a built-in battery device uh, but a similar size to an 18, dual 18650 is what I'm trying to tell you. It goes up to 120 watts. It has TC, it has variable power curve, all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, very nice screen, very easy menu, working absolutely great. I have noticed some of their marketing has sort of suggested 
two days use for 15 minutes. Now remember that's incredibly subjective to how you vape and all that sort of stuff. What, I, what I'm doing, I'm getting like a day. I'm at 60, I'm at 55 watts, I'm getting, I'm getting about a day. Getting about a day, but remember, I can just charge this in 15 minutes. The time it takes me to go to the loo, I could charge this. Uh, that's not a comment on my health in any way. I could be doing all kinds of things in there. Brushing my hair? Oh no, don't do that. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's an absolutely cool thing. Uh, I'm getting about a day though. So I, it depends how you vape as to how long you get. Everybody knows this. Uh, but I think it's a really good device. I think it's a really good device. They've done a really good job. Bit of a fingerprint magnet. It's a lot of shiny black bits on here. But a really nice size, really nice weight. Really well made, really well built, really strong. Uh, and I think the charging thing is very, very cool. I think it's a good device. A good device, good sub-tank. Absolutely no major issues at all. I don't have any major flaws. Obviously, remember, it's a built-in battery uh, device. I know some people love built-in battery. Some people hate built-in battery, so remember that. Um, it's got nothing major style-wise, looks-wise. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. Some people might want something a little bit more... You know, like you, the drag, the new drag's got the suede, it's got the c framey shape, it's got the metal, it, you know, it's, this has got a lot more look to it than this, although I would take this over an angry panda or something like that any day of the week. Um, so bear in mind the looks, the style of it, um, bear in mind it's a built-in battery. Bear in mind it only goes up to 120 watts. A dual 18650 often goes up to 200 watts. Not that I would ever need that kind of wattage. Um, but yeah, it, I think it's really, really good. I can't pick many flaws or holes in this at all. I think the charging thing is really, really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.